Well, it's about 14 minutes past 10 o'clock, and it is still relatively warm out there tonight. We have a temperature of 83 degrees here in Topeka with a breezy south wind that's going to be picking up over the next several hours through tonight and into tomorrow as well. And that is going to be bringing us some very hot weather to start off your work week. But temperatures across the area are still warm for most places. We have temperatures ranging from the upper 70s to the mid 80s even, and it's still just 10 o'clock at night, so we aren't really going to cool down very much at all tonight. We'll only cool down into the mid 70s across the area, and that's just going to help make it hotter for tomorrow. So our wind speeds right now are out of the south for everywhere in the area. 14 miles per hour in Burlington, 12 miles per hour in Topeka, so everywhere is ranging from about 10 to 20 miles per hour tonight, and that's just going to be the case all the way through tomorrow. And that south wind is going to be bringing us some very hot temperatures. We are in a heat advisory from 1 p.m. tomorrow afternoon to 7 p.m. tomorrow evening, and it is going to be a scorcher out there. We'll have high temperatures in the upper 90s, but factoring in all of the humidity that we have in place, we could see heat indexes pushing 105 in some places, even higher than that in our northernmost counties. So be prepared for the heat. If you have any plans outside tomorrow, make sure you take frequent breaks and stay hydrated. It's just going to be a scorcher out there. And taking a look at future track, we will remain dry all through tonight and into tomorrow as well. But we do have a bit of a cold front that will be making its way through the area, bringing with it some slight rain chances for your Tuesday. And that will just stick around all day long and it could spark off some more rain chances Tuesday evening. For tonight, we will cool down slightly into the mid 70s for Topeka. 74 degrees is our low temperature, a warm, humid night. And taking a look at our seven day forecast, the heat just sticks around all the way through midweek at least. We have high temperatures in the mid 90s all next week. And then we get a little bit of a cool down for the weekend with a scattered storm chance coming back into the picture on Friday and Saturday. So tomorrow when folks are getting ready to leave for work or, you know, go out to the pool, what should they plan on wearing then? Because it's 97? 97. I mean, do you even wear clothes at all at that point? <laughs> Maybe just very little. <laughs> Tank top shorts, probably flip-flops. I mean, try to stay cool out there. It might be a little tough with all that humidity. There's really mm -hmm. not much you can do about it, but stay hydrated. This is sure. the worst time of the year because you can never wear the right thing no matter what you're nope. sweating. And your hair you too. My hair's up today mm -hmm. because it just does not like yep. the humidity. So Just let it go all <laughs> natural. <Yep. Yep. laughs> Thanks Becky. Well next at 10 